Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving word problems on system of linear equations using a table. And this is the first part. Let's go over the first example right here. Joril and Gwen are saving up money because they want to buy a new cell phone. Joril opened an account with $100. He just got a job and is determined to save an additional $50 per week. On the other hand, Gwen started a savings account with $25 and is able to save $75 a week. Use a table to find the time, which is in weeks, when Joril and Gwen will have the same amount of money in their savings account. So what are we going to do here is we are going to create a table and we fill this table in. Now, um, for the dimension of the table, you can pick any dimension for that. But for this um, problem here, let's pick um, that's going to be five by three tables. I'm just going to draw the uh, table up here for our solution. Okay, so we're going to fill this table in. So on the first um, row right here, we're going to uh, label this as weeks here. So this would determine the number of weeks. And then on the second row right here, we are going to have uh, Joro's um, case. So I'm going to write Joro right here. And then on the third row would be for Gwen. So what are we going to do next is that we label the weeks here. So we're going to start with zero week, one, two, three, and four. This means zero week, first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. Now we remember that this zero right here, we can call this as our starting value. So let's label this as starting value. So we go back to the um, original problem that we have up here so that we can fill this table in. So let's start with Jorel first. So Jorel opened an account with $100. This means that the starting value on Jorel's savings account is $100. So I'm going to put $100 right here. So I'll just label this as 100. Now, on the other hand, it says that he just got a job and is determined to save an additional $50 per week. So this means that for Joro, we are going to add 50 every week. So um, that means from 100, that's the initial, there wasn't a week yet. So after the first week, the total in the savings account would already be 150. So the reason why I got 150 here, it's because it started with 100 and was able to put in $50 a week. So 100 plus 50 would be 150. And then on the second week, additional 50 was added. So this comes out 200. And then on the third week, another 50 was added. So this is 250. And then on the fourth week, another 50 was added. So this is $300. Now on Gwen, we are going to go over the uh, problem right here. So Gwen started a savings account with $25. So the starting value, which will be on zero for Gwen is 25. So that's going to be 25 right here. It's $25 and it says that he's able to save $75 a week. So that means Gwen will be adding $75 every week to um, her uh, account. So that means that on the first week from 25, she added 75. So this would come out 100. Now on the second week, so this 100 will be added by another 75. So this would come out 175. And then on the third week, this 175 will be added by another 75. So this would come out 250. And then on the fourth week, this 250 will be added by 75. So that means this would come out 325. So in the problem, we are asked to use a table to find the time in week 
weeks when Jorel and Gwen will have the same amount of money in their savings account. So looking at this uh, problem, I mean, on this table that we have right here, we can see that both of the values for Jorel and Gwen's savings would be 250 on the third week. So that means this is the week where both Joril and Gwen will have the same money in their savings account, which is 250. Again, that is week three. So this means that both Joril and Gwen will have the same amount of money, $250 in their savings account on week three. So I will write that in uh, words right here. We can also write our solution to this problem in uh, coordinate form. So that would be 3 and 250, which means that if we graph the line for these two problems right here, they will intersect at 3, 250. Okay, now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Two huge tanks are being filled with water. Tank A with an initial content of 15 gallons is filled at a rate of 5 gallons per minute. While tank B had an initial content of 7 gallons and is filled with water at a rate of 9 gallons per minute. Use a table to find the time in minutes when the two tanks will have the same amount of water. So we are going to create the table for this problem here. So I'm, again, I'm going to create a five by three um, table. So I will draw that up here. Okay, now let's label this um, table right here. It says that this is in minutes. So I'm gonna write minutes right here. And then on the second, um, Row right here would be for the first tank. So I'm going to label this as tank A. And then the second row would be for tank B. Now let's fill this in. So again, for the minutes, we're going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This means 0 minutes, the first minute, second, third, and fourth minute. So we're going to go over the problem so that we can fill this um, table in. So we're going to start with tank A with an initial content of 15 gallons. Now, again, we remember that this zero is our starting value or this is the initial value. So or this is the beginning value. So those are the words that we can um, use for a starting value. So for tank A, the initial content is 15 gallons. So I'm going to write 15 right here. So that's the initial um, content in tank A. Now, it says that for tank A, a, it is filled at a rate of five gallons per minute. So that means we are adding five gallons every minute. So on the first minute, this means that it will come out 20 gallons because from 15, we add five. So that comes out 20. Now on the second minute from 20, we add five. So this would come out 25. And then on the third minute, 25 plus five would be 30. And then on the fourth minute, 30 plus 5 is 35. Now let's move on to tank B. It says in the problem that tank B had an initial content of 7 gallons. So I'm going to write 7 right here. And then it says further that it is filled with water at a rate of 9 gallons per minute. So for every minute, we are adding 9 gallons to it. So from 7... We add 9, so on the first minute, it will come out 16. And then um, for the second minute, from 16, we add 9, so this would come out 25. And then from 25, we add another 9 gallons, so that would be um, 34. And then from 34, we add another 9, this would come out 43. 
So in the problem, we are asked to use a table to find the time in minutes when the two tanks will have the same amount of water. So as you can see here, both tanks will have the same amount on the second minute. So this is the answer to this problem right here. So after two minutes, the tank will have the same level of water, which is a 25 gallons. So I'm gonna write that um, up here. We can also change our solution right here in coordinate form. That would be 2 and 25. That means that if we change this problems into its linear equation and we graph it, they're going to be intersecting at 225. Okay. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.